Hello. It's potions time. Check out this chipper music. I could not even tell you where this week has gone aside from taking care of Oreo, who is right back there after his surgery. I'm very glad that the microphone is actually working. It's amusing because the source listing that I have for it from Wednesday when it wasn't working is microphone damn it. Because OBS is a good and functional app. But as discussed on Wednesday, it's free. So we make do. So our, I think this is our save, or is this our save? It's probably more than four hours. It's probably this save. Let's check it out. If any member remembers where we were on Wednesday, at the end of Wednesday, that would be great. Here, da, 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 da. This seems right. Day 19, we've done one of these things. I'm just gonna go to YouTube real quick and see what the ending says. I had thought that I was being consistent in where I did my saves, but I'm not sure that that's actually true. So we're just gonna double check real quick. Okay. So we're overwriting that day. Okay, we are in fact in the right place. I remembered, hooray. Okay, so this is where we are. We need to make a ice tonic and we need to make a greater speed potion. We have made a greater ice tonic. It has hit the basic requirements. Beautiful, and now we just need to make a greater speed potion. Let's see what our options are there. C and D. So we have, you have 18, you have 28, you are 18 each. Okay, so we can use the frog legs because they add a lot of options. So we have two more potion slots. I don't think we're gonna have enough here because we need, well, greater one star. If I add you, it's one star with a chance of a second star. And it's day 19, so this is the last day we have. We can, however, go buy some ingredients. So I think I'm gonna do that. We're gonna go see Quinn right here, and we're gonna try and buy things that will give us C or D ingredients. And then we're gonna make that fantastic last potion. Okay. So yesterday I had um, jury duty, which is not the most exciting thing in the world and is particularly challenging for me because uh, it's mostly boring. And that's the fact that it's mostly boring is probably fine and for the best for the like most of the world. But I had to spend the whole day pretending like I was an extremely normal person because if you're weird at on jury duty then that probably goes poorly since you know cops and judges around all the time and while a lot of the day of jury duty you're either just waiting in a room waiting to be called or you're in voir dire where mostly nothing is happening, but you have to be basic, you have to be paying attention more or less all the time so that you don't miss something. I got a little bit of reading done. I played some Marvel Snap, but mostly it was a headache, <laughs> if I'm being entirely honest. 
Uh, let's get some stuff from Saffron so that we have uh, fuel to make our potions with speed. Just gonna buy a few of these. Thank you, Saffron. And now we're gonna go and see if we can make that potion better. More effectively. To a greater magnitude of awesomeness. So we're gonna start we're gonna use the this cauldron. And we have two more ingredients we can add. So let's do one of these. And nope. Oh, all right, we're at eight of eight. So what if we take away this and we add one more of these and then we need six more. Well, all right, so I already added the frog leg. So this is 36, you are 40. Twelve one oh eight. Hey, look, they we're up to three stars on greater. So now we're going to come down and look at our fuel. And we're going to do this because we need this to brew today, because tomorrow is the competition. So three time units, one, two, three. That is fine. Then we have we can use this time to go and see people and make sure our stress is in a good place, as in stress is low, and then. I'm going to try to make something good. Let's see, what do we have? We have some health potions. Let's make some mana potions to have for when we come back to give to some heroes. So that's B and C. Let's do a couple of those. And some of these and then C we can do one of those and we're at 66 12 78 a pair perfect we don't need to reduce the time because we're going to have the whole extra day so let's let those roll now I'm going to go and say hello to people hello Sid I've decided that, that, that I'm going to pronounce the X with an S. And if it's incorrect, then so be it. We're going to have a picnic. Sylvia and Sid once more find the perfect perch atop the Kraken Skull, and there enjoy a meal together. Sid hums when she chews, which Sylvia finds charming. Let me know if that gets annoying, or if you have any requests. Sylvia feels a little closer to Sid and mildly less stressed. Good times. I dig Sid's theme. Okay. Let's do more hangout. Okay, you can hang out with a person one hour, one time a day. Uh, I don't think I can do any of these because I don't have mana potions. Okay, and now we can invest in an expedition. Yes, let's get some of that. And one of these. We don't need these, however. So let's do that. We've got the money for it. That expedition will be done tomorrow. I have 89 left, which means that I could basically go... Here, let's go see Muktuk and hang out with him as well. And then I think timing wise will be okay. Weightlifting. Strength of body reveals strength of spirit. Sylvia pushes herself to lift just a little bit more than before. She manages just fine. She might even be ready to lift something heavier than a rodent soon. Improvement. I saw it with my own eyes. All right, there's a hangout. Oreo, did you wait? until I started streaming to need to go out into the world? Well, that's a waggle. 
Okay, well, listen. If he starts complaining, then I may have to take an early break and take him out. I don't know if you can actually hear his various sneezes and schnorfles behind me since the mic is pointing this way and he's down. Have we not worked hard in recent days, Sylvia? Do not wear perspiration upon our brows. We have, we do. Right you are, and it is therefore time for that most delightful of all breaks, an ice cream break. I am so on board with this. Muktuk has evidently made his selections in advance. When it's his turn, he requests two scoops, one mint chocolate chip and one buttered prawn. It is an odd combination, I know, but I find the complementary colors nearly as enjoyable as the treat itself. Interesting. I don't usually think about the colors. A snack is best when it engages all our senses, and I know of what I speak. I do not like to brag, but my people have elevated ice cream to an art form, not merely in taste, but in presentation. Each scoop is a mathematically perfect sphere. Anything less is tossed to the dogs. Not that I'm complaining about Rafta's offerings, of course. Ice cream is a marvel even if these scoops are slightly oblate. It is strange, though, the things that make me think suddenly of home. Tell me, Asivlia, are you ever homesick? Sure, it's only natural. When you started over in a new place. Indeed, it is just one more thing we have in common, you and I. And yet, I may, fe I may feel my connection to home a bit more keenly than most. For a Walwus carries with him the voices of his ancestors. What do you mean? I mean just what I say. Our honored ancestors never leave us. Although their mortal forms expire, they live on within us, always. They guide us to our great works. They speak to us, and in doing so, offer an inexhaustible wellspring of inspiration. Wow, that must come in handy. It is the ultimate purpose of my pilgrimage. I must live and breathe my craft so that I reach a heightened spiritual state in which my ancestors may guide in the creation of a singular work of such majesty. It leaves the world changed forevermore. It is for this reason I work so hard, and yet always am keeping one ear to my muscles. Your muscles? Indeed, for that is where the ancestors reside. They give guidance not just through words, but through augmenting my natural strength each and every day. Okay. Your ancestors must have been very impressive. I mean, look at those muscles. Nay, I bid you to look at them. Look, and dare not blink. And thus, I hope you can understand. My, my pursuit of superior artistry, although fervent, is not a matter, matter of ego or avarice. It is, for me, a spiritual endeavor. I put a piece of myself in every creation. It's less spiritual for me, but I definitely put my heart into my work. Then let your customers know. Let them understand that you stand by your craftsmanship and that you can speak to the individual qualities of each and every potion you create. Craftsmanship! Raise interest by six. Increase price of potion by 3%. I could talk about potion craftsmen stuff all day, but I'm also happy to admire the artistry of this ice cream. Truly it is well done, and I cannot help but think that the taste is further elevated by the quality of your company. What a sweetie. All right, we gotta go back now, because I need to bottle that potion. And then we have a competition. All right, you're brewing, but you're done. Hey, look at that. Five star greater speed potion. Excellent. Oh, and I can also have something brew there while I'm at the competition. Let's do that. Do we have... Um, let's make some fire tonics. So that's A and C. One, two, a three. One, a two. Okay. And then, oh, okay, so let's do right 108 
play to 104. That's fine. Brew for over six. That's fine. Since we have that whole next day for things to brew. Let's check our deck, though. We're going to go to Muktuk. Craftsmanship will be great for these competitions because they just automatically raise the price of potions by 3%, and if the potion price gets higher than my competitor, I just win the round immediately. So let's drop those. Add craftsperson. Press the attack. Pump up. Captivate. Keep your guard up. Build rapport. Sid, opening act and jingle, yeah. So let's save this. Now the nice thing here is that I, because I've been playing this game offline and doing my own save, I have some experience in like what's coming, but I also get the opportunity to focus on different characters and see more of their routes. Um, in my kind of offline game, I'm uh, my character is romancing Mint the kind of budding hero. And I think in this one, I'm going to uh, pursue the romance with Sid, the bardic hero. I'm psyched for tomorrow's competition. I really like my odds. And I like the confidence. I was hoping to find you here. This rivalry of ours can't go on much longer. Island's just not big enough for to support us both. I've got a solution to that. Why don't you back down? Can't say I see that happening. This land's barely just come back from one ecological disaster. Then you and your ilk, the business who, folk who put profit above all else. You come here by the dozens and start grabbing up whatever you can get to your hands on. Land can't sustain it, and I won't stand for it. That's why I'm trying to show you all another way, a better way. Better how? Aren't you the one who prides himself on picking whole areas clean of resources? I don't take more than the land can spare, and never take anything without giving something back. I'm Batman. I can take as well, I can give as well as I take too, so if you come for me tomorrow, be ready for a fight. Survival of the fittest, eh? Wouldn't have it any other way. Good for you, telling him off. Yeah, but I've got to wonder. What if he has a point? When I inherited this business from my uncle, I also inherited his way of doing things. But Oswald lured me into the clutches of a pitiless, soul-binding debt collector! Maybe his way of doing things wasn't entirely ethical. Well, I, um... Listen, I'm sure your uncle would do many things differently. But more dilemmas and recriminations can wait. Tomorrow your entire focus must be on one thing and one thing only. Winning. I, the owl, am definitely not your uncle transmogrified by some strange magic. How silly that would be. It's another beautiful day here in Rafta. We're told there is 0% chance of rain. The chance of a winged carnivore attack is slightly higher, so let's move things along. You know me by now. I'm Baptiste, master of guild, attender of bar, dropper of uh, aristocratic accents because I don't want to do them anymore today, and your host for today's epic contest. On the field below, two fine merchants have taken their places, but only one can be crowned our champion. Who will it be? Our challenger has walked the breadth of the wild the breadth of the wild, and live to tell the tale. He's daring, he's dashing, and he knows firsthand the importance of quality ingredients. Give your warmest draft of hello to Corsac! So many people. He's up against our reigning champ. She's a doer, a brewer, and an entrepreneur. Make some noise for Sylvia! Hey, Corsac. You look a little green around the gills. You want to call it a day? don't have gills, but now I wish I did. Dang, that guy is ice cold. Our judge today needs no introduction, but he's getting one anyway. Idol of millions, inspiration to heroes and envy of artisans everywhere. Give it up for Robin. You're too kind, Baptiste, too kind. It has been said. Now let's get down to business, shall we? Didn't think there'd be so many people. Doesn't change anything. Hunter keeps his focus on his prey. All right, contestants, give us a show. Round one. This tonic was made with the delicate whiskers of the hippopot 
Hypnopotamus. Those are hard to come by. The trick is, you gotta tickle them first. An interesting technique. I'd value the resulting potion at 215 gold. Seems fair. You think you can beat that, Sylvia? Maybe put that one on. That would be rough. Bloop. No animals were, tick were tickled in the creation of this potion. It's definitely an ice tonic. I can tell by the frost. That means it's a quality concoction. They can be a hard sell in the summertime, can't they? I'll price this one at... 144. Is that a fair appraisal, do you think? Hmm. Should I review my haggling strategy? No, I just did. I'm ready to win you over. So we open with Captivate because it's an opener and it will increase Robin's patience by two. And Corsac is going to do five stress and gain a shield. So let's gain some shield of our own. We definitely want, don't want to use a finisher here because we need to get to 215. So we're going to end turn. That means we will take some stress, but only two because we have a shield of three. Probably doesn't think stop to think of the harm she causes to the environment. I mean, I think everything is organic. Right. We don't need patience as much as we need the bonus interest. But we'll take the one for free. Go up by six and lose a stress. So we're going to take six more here. Sylvia, don't you worry about your footprint? I'm certainly thinking about it now. So we're at seven. You are going to draw, make me draw a stress card. So... I can't block that with shield, so we're just going to go straight forward. Got to turn this around. All right, we're up to 187. 192. I don't think a, finish, a closer here will, f will do the job, and there's plenty of patience left, so let's end turn. I have Newton Toe of Frog aren't sustainable. You should try bean-based substitutes. But it sounds gross. So we have Guilt Trip. If it had at the end of turn, applies Guilt Trip. Increases stress by the three at the end of the turn. So we want to finish this now if we can. So that's 206. Must be pleased as a skunk fruit. Let's reduce stress. Press the attack. Press the attack again. Pump up. Take that up by a bunch, and there we've done it. 225. I think I know the winner. Compelling arguments all around, but this round goes to Sylvia. Ha, I've got this in the bag. But, dang, this competition is the best platform I've got to make my message heard. So I'm going to adapt, overcome. Time to unleash the beast. Of course, that means business, folks. The claws are coming out for round two. It is the hot guy. Hi, the kids are asleep. I trust you have another potion prepared, Corsac. This one was brewed with all natural hobgoblin tears. It has a little hat. Interesting. What do you mix them with? Well, might have gotten a few tears of my own mixed in. I just can't stand to see a goblinoid cry. Sounds salty. I'd value it at 215. I respect that. Hey! Hi, Aaron. Hi, kids are asleep. I, do, I also love everyone in this game. Some of them I love uh, because they are well-depicted characters, and others I love um, the, per the person themselves and not just their construction. Uh, I am in the second competition in Potion Party, try squaring off against the uh, sustainable potion maker, hippie guy, Corsac, who have decided to give uh, the Lego Batman voice. Sylvia, what do you have for us today? I need a sight enhancer. I'm going to do plop. 163, so I will need to continue to haggle. This should elicit some tears from Corsac. As a sight enhancer, it does meet the minimum requirements. Nothing flashy about it, but it looks legitimate enough. 
I've sold a few of these, quite a few of these in my day. Let's see, let's set this one's value at 171. Unless you'd like to speak to its virtues. Let's go. I'm ready to prove I'm the winner. Haggle time. Raise interest and reduce stress. All right, I don't want to close out, so we're going to take tension and then a bunch of stress, unfortunately. Judge, I hope you'll consider my meticulous ethical sourcing and the nice little sparkles, too. Oh, come on, it's my turn. All right, let's keep your guard up. Guided thought, reduce some stress. You are going to do seven stress. So I'm going to choose the defensive option and gain a bunch of block. I hope you wish whisper sweetly to your plants before you clip them. I don't think they'd even like that. So now I'm up to 20% stress, which means more or less one out of five cards I draw is going to be a stress card, which is rough. We have to get to 215 here. See, so you got no shame. No shame at all. I don't know that that has anything to do with anything. I guess, did I mention I'm a fan? You could see that. There we go. Both contestants should be proud of their performance today. But there's no need to continue, is there? We have a winner, and it's Sylvia! Ba -ba -ba -ba. I should have written a speech for this moment. I'll have repair to the cries of a wounded animal. Oh, poor Corsac. We'll come and hang out with you later. You should have seen that coming, I suppose. Life in the wilderness prepares a man for many things. Running a business might not be one of them. Hey, there's no need to give up completely, is there? Maybe it's the winner's rush talking, but I'm starting to enjoy our rivalry. Honestly, I'm not sure potion making is my calling. Only wanted to show the world there was a better way of doing things. Show them that success doesn't have to come at the expense of nature. Blue Steel. But I always planned to take a step back after today, intended to use my winnings to fund a new s series of expeditions. The more time I spend here, the more I want to be out there. If it's the expeditions you want, there might be a way to make that happen. The Heroes Guild needs people who can handle themselves out in the wilderness. Based on what I've seen, they'd be lucky to have you. Well, isn't that a thought? Might not be a bad idea. Might be worth talking to Baptiste about. No, not the punching talking, just like verbal. I see that bicep. It's ready to punch someone's face off. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think of me or anything. Solving problems? That's just what I do. Solving problems and winning competitions. And so it looks like Corsac will be joining the Heroes Guild. Remarkable. Just remarkable. Aw, oh, you weren't worried, were you? I keep telling you I know what I'm doing. I had a feeling you'd prevail. What surprises me is the compassion you show your competitors. Were I in your shoes? I'm not sure I'd do the same. We're all just people, Al. We deserve opportunities to make our way in the world. And besides, having Corsac in the guild will mean more access to more resources. That's good for my shop. And it doesn't hurt that he kind of owes me big time. You're really thinking ahead now. Apply that to your daily negotiations and you'll be hard to beat. In fact, just throw everything you know at your customers and let them sort it out. Barrage. Raise interest for two by every card in your hand. Forget hard to beat. I'm feeling unstoppable! Careful, Sylvia. Hubris has been the downfall of many a promising witch. Yep. Although you've certainly made some impressive strides in a short time. You think so? I guess being forcibly soul bound to do another to another person's crushing debt is a good source of motivation. Who would have figured? If that's the case, I'm happy to have been of some service to you. Now I believe you have a deposit to make. I can't bear to watch. Goodbye, money. Everything appears to be in order. Dang, that would have bought a lot of ramen. But I'm in the groove now. You'll have your next payment in 10 days. Count on it. 
I certainly am. Until then. You can come out now. I'm sorry, that's just that woman. I get it, she's intimidating. But don't worry, I can handle her on my own. You've been a huge help, Owl. Don't think otherwise for a minute. I, I thank you, that's not like that deadbeat Oswald. I swear, it's enough to make me want to learn necromancy. So I can raise him from the bed dead just to kill him all over again. Ah, uh, yes, you have every right to be angry. Of course you do. We'd best turn in. Tomorrow the cycle begins anew. At least we're in this together. Dun 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 dun. I'm impressed. I'll admit it. <laughs> That's the vibe we're going for. Good morning, Sylvia. Are you ready to continue on your march toward glory? I have something that ought to be of help. A new upgrade to your license. Plop. With this, you're authorized to brew a whole new range of potions. Thanks for doing that. Paperwork is my mortal enemy. I pride myself on being organized. In fact, I have the details for the next competition right here. I suppose it was foolhardy to think I could keep this one in mint condition. Doodle pawn. Alright, so that's the next person later on. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. So this is all five, actually. So we we beat Roxanne, we beat Corsac, and then we're gonna do this person over here. It's it's this guy. It's Marmy Shark. Hey there, chum. How's business? Well, shush now. That was a rhetorical question. I already know the answer. The business is real hard, isn't it? All the upkeep, all those customers, all that math. Wouldn't you like to lay those burdens down? What do you say to an early retirement and just send all your customers my way? Boss Finn will real take, take real good care of them. Oh, I see. You must be my rival in the next competition. Well, sorry. I'm no quitter. If you want to take a bite out of my business, you're in for a fight. Oh ho ho! So the minnow's got some teeth. Oh my! Uh, my chat thing uh, did not scroll, so I missed people showing up. Hello, Queen V. Um, and thank you, Aaron. Uh, Corsac is super jacked. And hi, Trifity Mats. This guy is in fact smarmy, but incredibly burly. I imagine that in the cartoon of this, uh, Boss Finn would be probably played by, like, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. But I'm the big fish in this small pond, and you're an appetizer at best. Though the voice I'm doing is not really a Dwayne Johnson voice, I'm, I'm aware. Funny they mention appetites, because the overwhelming stink of body spray is totally spoiling mine. I'll just excuse myself from your sight, then. Of course, that means you won't see me when I come for you. And I will come for you. Well, he's a charmer, isn't he? Forget taking a day off. It means trouncing that guy. I can't wait to get back to work. Yikes, indeed. So, something in this game that I've been largely ignoring is all of the sensation uh, traits stuff like good smell bad smell all that kind of thing because it mostly shows up in special orders and i've been okay without focusing on special orders but maybe for the stream's sake i can give those more of a shot pay more attention to them so we have all of these extra potions that we can do now insight enhancer dowsing enhancer silence cure and petrification cure So we have, heal let's do some more healing potions, honestly. We're gonna need those basically all the time for heroes. Okay, and a couple of you. And, oh, you have an E in you. Let's do those. 
9286. So we add one of these. Okay. Six for that. Let's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is the whole day. So let's just do that. And I will see what I have to sell so that I can get money. Also, I should check that I haven't been... Okay, good. Sometimes I buy a cauldron and then don't start using it, and that makes me feel very silly. Okay, yep. Yeah. So we can use... Uh, let's do that. So I want to buy more shelves. And a showcase display for um, sales bonus. All right, let's open the shop and make some money. Do you ever get used to the smell? I'm here for something very specific. Can you do this for me? So, speaking of special orders, income hacks. Sitting through a lecture on tax codes could save you money. The trick is staying awake long enough to glean the ne necessary insights from a very dry slideshow. So this needs to be, looks like good smell and good look for both of these things. So there's no penalty for taking the special order. You just don't get the, the money if you don't fulfill it. So let's raise interest. Captivate, we only get one if we use it not as an opener, and then we pump up. You are not going to stress me out. Oh wow, I still have some stress from the competition, so we'll go visit people and deal with that. And the turn. So they're going to get a shield. Oh, double tension. Yikes. So let's do that and do that. Tension, receipt, double stress. Uh, let's close this deal. Let's make a deal, but be quick about it. All right. Instant. Price boost, captivate, guided. So a little, reduce a little bit of stress. You're gonna do four. You've got nine left. Yeah, I can take that. You just seem determined to take my money and my time. Um, you're just being very picky. You stress a little bit. We need 20. This is not gonna do either of those, but there's only seven time left. However, you're going to just take extra time. So let's let this turn pass and then try for a strong finish. Excellent, because we have this finisher. So we're going to raise interest by 17 and then sleight of hand for the finish. What flaw? It must be the trick of the light. Using one of the tricks from Roxanne. All right, next in line. Your favorite customer has returned. Oh, wait, that's uh, that's the owl's voice. Good craftsmanship on display in this one, I think. Ha ha ha. Build rapport. And craftsmanship. Just look at it. Catch the light. So you're going to add a stress card, which will be rough. How could it be anything but sublime? That gives us tension. We're going to raise it by another 10. And then sleight of hand. Okay. To 206. And that's all of them. So that's a good amount of stress. We should go and visit somebody to reduce stress. Let's go hang out with Sid. So, still on the picnic train. Sylvian said, once more, find the perfect perch. This is the same thing, but it's still cute. All right, now we can rank up. What's new with you? Thanks for tagging along, Sylvia. I'm in the mood to perform some music. And a little help could go a long way. I mean, like, 
backing vocals? Is this my big break? I've got the singing covered, but I was hoping you could hold a tin can and collect any tips that come in. I would just leave my guitar case open, but it's developed a taste for small change and small dogs. Sid strums a chord, then launches into one of her most popular ballads. It tells the tale, tells the tale of Robin, the pint-sized squire who survived the Heroes Guild battle with Maven, the Witch Queen of Rafta. Robin was brave, and though he was tiny, he kicked that old hag direct in her hiney. Sylvia's heard the song dozens of times before, but hearing it live is a, an entirely different experience. The people of Rafta evidently agree. Many of them stop to listen. Others keep walking, but bop along with the melody as they go. One, as one man drops a coin into Sylvia's tin, he remarks how the singer sounds almost as good as Sidriel herself. This, in fact, being Sidriel. Well, how'd we do? I think they liked it. They always do, which is too bad. Because I hate that song, Sylvia. It is seriously bad. Wait, really? But it's one of your big hits. That means it's popular. It doesn't mean it's good. The melody is fine, but the lyrics are juvenile and frankly a bit sexist. The guy who wrote it didn't even get the historical details right. According to Robin's own account, he survived by being well clear of the blast zone. He was just there to carry everyone's gear, and he hid behind a tree during the fight. But I guess that doesn't mind rhyme with tiny, so... Wow, you really do hate that song. Well, I know how the sausage is made. Most of the raw he ra -ra hero ballads are the same. Propaganda masquerading as a history lesson written by guys who knows a lot less about it than they'd like to pretend. But they're crowd pleasers, so what am I going to do about it? Stop performing them? Could you take them out of rotation and play the songs you actually like? Well, as a performer, it's not so much about what I like, is it? If you think about it, you and I, we're both in the business of pleasing other people. And if my audience, my customers, find comfort in the familiar, I can't fault it. A crowded market just isn't the place to drop a new single. But give people a familiar chorus they can along, hum along with, and they'll be more receptive to whatever else you have to say. Raise interest by five for each time this card has been played during the current transaction. I can work that angle. I'm just surprised to hear that you're to learn so you're still beholden to your audience. I thought you'd have a lot more freedom. Funny, I thought so too. And listen, I can't complain. I've had, I've had a dream career so far. But I'm getting older and I'm realizing all the little compromises I've made along the way. They have a way of adding up. Did you know I used to write my own stuff? Songwriting is what drew me to the industry to begin with. I spent my preteen years barricading away in my bedroom, trying to put all my messy adolescent emotions into song. Cute. I bet you were adorable. Little Sid and all her big feelings. You know, I broke some hearts in my day, but I grew out of that, mostly. I also wrote some pretty terrible songs, actually. They were honest, though. There's value in that. But then came the managers and the focus groups and the ready-made hit machine, and soon I was too busy to put pen to paper. I'm still too busy, even though now I'm on this little sabbatical of mine. Well, you know what they say. If you wait till you're ready, it'll never happen. Yeah, yeah, you may have a point there. I should at least try to set some time aside for writing. Stretch those old muscles, if nothing else. But for now, I've got to swallow my opinions and crank out another popular ballad. Let's fill that tin can with coins, yeah? I know a local soup kitchen in need of more than a few loose coppers. It's extremely real, V, yeah. Like, do you, you know, as an actual play uh, creator, do you just do a D and D series in familiar settings uh, that people don't have to learn anything new to appreciate, or do you try to do something different? As an author, do you write kind of the same the same tropes in the same order in the same versions of the same subgenres? Or do you mix and match and try something different and stretch yourself as a creator? There isn't booze in this drink, unfortunately. I really appreciate when Sid said popular does not mean good. Very much so. That's, the re that's a rejoinder that could have applied to let's say a good 60% of, of every conversation I've ever had uh, outside of an AMA on r slash uh, fantasy on Reddit. All 
All right. So let's see what we can do. We can send you here. We need a silence cure. We need the shadow potion and a drowsiness cure. We need the poison cure here. Bow wastes. That one, this one we can probably do. Let's see. Can we do this as is? Yes, I don't need to use that last potion. Let's go for it. Never fear, I'm on it. Okay, we made some money. Let's go see Roxanne since V is here. Some shiny new enchantments are now on sale. Oop, rank up. As you wish. Business is booming, Sylvia. So much that this little supply has proven so little supply run has proven necessary. Yep, the same but different. I'm perilously low on gemstones, so keep an eye out for all that glitters. Roxanne approaches a vendor st stall that has cheap jewelry laid out on display. The merchant seems wary of Roxanne. He watches her closely, following her around the stall. Sylvia gets the impression that word has spread about Roxanne's potions con. She's not especially welcome in the marketplace. Roxanne, however, keeps her cool. She giggles and blushes and touches the merchant's arm lightly. A minute later, she's made her purchase. The merchant warm, waves warmly after her as she exits the stall. There, success! I should have everything I need. He even threw a free pair of earrings. I guess I'll have, to, I'll have to remove the casing, but the stones will be of use. How did you do that? He warmed up faster than ramen on a fire rune. I only turned the charm on a little. Batted my lashes, laughed at his jokes. It works every time, whether you're buying or selling. Disarm. For zero, remove customer shield. Okay, I'm not about trying that. And hey, speaking of flattery, I gotta say. I'm impressed. You're doing good work, Roxanne. I'm glad it's paying off. Yes, I've made strides in a short time. And to think, I've done it all on my own. I mean, she is a force of nature. Sylvia is, in fact, sort of helping. Well, I'm sort of helping, right? I mean, I'm not charging you rent or anything. Brava, Sylvia. I like women who seeks credit where credit is due. As for allowing me to stay in your cramped roach den after you dismantled my livelihood, well, I'm sure your medal is in the mail. Fair enough. So what's next for you? You've got to seize your own momentum, right? Have you thought about advertising? Oh no, I'm afraid that would be a grave mistake. This little operation of mine isn't entirely legal after all. Wait, what? Roxanne, you told me you were going legit. I told you I was making use of my legitimate talents, and that's true. But this town and all its rules, it's positively tedious to do anything by the book. It's no wonder I became a con artist. And you know I've run some pretty marvelous rackets over the years. Tell me more. The potions con wasn't your first? Far from it. I cut my teeth several years ago on a pyramid scheme. A literal pyramid scheme, mind you. We claimed to be erecting one in the heart of the capital city. Investors were lining up. When that racket got too hot, I set up another town and read fortunes for a while. I traced the lines of my clients' palms, pouring honey in their ears, while helping myself to the conscience of their pockets. I'm quite dexterous with the tail, you know. By the time anyone caught on, I'd moved on to card games, counterfeiting, even a little bit of light blackmail to keep things interesting. I'm gonna have a heart attack. You're, you're some kind of criminal mastermind. Why, thank you. But I'm telling you, Sylvia, I've reformed. I'm barely doing anything wrong this time. However, to operate a business in this town, you're required to secure a business license. I know all about it. It's not really such a hassle. Easy for you to say, you were able to take the shortcut. Anyone with a degree from an accredited college is automatically issued a license to operate a business here. 
It's all part of some initiative to attract so-called talented people to Rafta. Everyone knows you recently obtained your degree. You tend to bring it up every five minutes. I'm not sure that's true. Whereas I have never had that particular opportunity. All right, so the shortcut isn't an option for you. What's the normal procedure like? Well, I'd have to pay a fee, submit some paperwork, and pass an exam of some sort. Is that all? That doesn't sound so bad. Are you certain? It sounds perfectly tedious to me. Anyway, what's the point? If I get caught cutting corners, I'll just move on to the next racket. You can't be on the move forever. Eventually, you want to call someplace home. You, if enchanting is already making you money, maybe this is the moment. You have a point. It's one thing to quit when the going gets tough. But why quit when I'm ahead? All right, I'll do it. I'll get my license and I'll look good doing it. I should probably warn you. Nobody looks good in their license photo. Nonsense. The trick is to elongate your neck, smile with your eyes, and threaten the photographer with bodily harm. She's honest about being the most dishonest, yeah. Okay. So you can basically make um, your potions have the good senses with the enchantments. Things here. And now back home. Good luck. You'll need it. Yeah, the Roxanne frustrated with the uh, uh, the licensing process is me dealing with, I would say, one out of three states uh, temporary sales license procedure when I was working for Angry Robot or when I'm trying to sell cons at events. Ohio, the state of Ohio, is, I would say, it or Texas have the most preposterous, onerous, uh, unintuitive websites and application systems for applying a uh, a business license. <laughs> the kids are asleep. I'm literally taking continuated classes for my license right now. Oh no! I hope it's less preposterous than. Uh, well, I hope it's not too preposterous. Sylvia, hope I'm not interrupting. I'm all set up the guild hall now. Baptiste said to let you know. Okay, I'll keep you in mind. Was there something else? Matter of fact, yeah. You've shown me a kindness, Sylvia, setting me on this new path. Feels like I should return the favor. You could share some pointers. I'm always looking to learn and grow. It's not a bad way to be. I was going to suggest you start growing your own ingredients. Ever try it? I took a botany class in college where we learned the basics. It didn't go well, though. Not for my GPA and not for those poor plants. Not everybody's gifted with a green thumb, but gardening is easy with a slime bulb. Slime bulb? I've come across them every once in a while. Little critter critters gobble up all sorts of things. And in the right conditions, they'll reshape their own protoplasmic mass to grow identical copies of their last meal. It's a downright fascinating adaptation. And they're awful nice to look at. And eco-friendly, I'm guessing. If they have your endorsement. Any resource you can clone is by definition renewable. Here, I'll provide you with a specimen I extracted from the wild. It was a bit of a runt, but I nursed her to health with my homemade plant formula and frequent words of encouragement. Look at that little angry little bulb. Thanks, I'll try it out. It does me some good to see you're giving your thought giving thought to minimizing your footprint. Mind if I give you some pointers for proper care and feeding? It's a tutorial. Behold the simple slime bulb. A remarkable, magical, cute as a button organism capable of cloning any ingredient. Just place the ingredient you want to duplicate into an empty slime bulb. Once the ingredient is gestating, you can feed her extra ingredients. That'll help her grow more of the gestating ingredient. A bulb's plasma color tells you what magimen she prefers to munch on. Feed her the right magimen, and she'll be healthy and, he healthy and grow a lot of ingredients for you. Nice, who knew that growing green could actually give me an edge? Isn't it so adorable how it ador absorbs door-to-door -door salespeople and makes copy of them for my endless army? Let's hope it doesn't end. It doesn't go to that, Rudnell. 
but that would be very funny in a terrifying way. Plenty of animals take what they want and don't say sorry. Squirrels, for instance. You want to bring home the gold? Channel that ferocity, Sylvia. Be the squirrel. Ferocity of the squirrel. So, Corsac's cards seem to be stance-based. Because this gives you this stance, and his adapt card changes to deal 12 interest. So I don't know when you get that other, when you get the adapt card, but maybe that'll be interesting to find out. Just skipping some text, since my doing gravelly voice a lot is difficult. Check on the little guy when you have time. Let's go see our little slime friend. Oh, look at that little face. So, we feed you A ingredient things. Well, I guess we'll give you, we'll do this. So then if we get, if we put 50 Magimans or more, we'll increase from 2x to 3x. Let's do amount of mana. It's the same face I make when I'm hungry. <laughs> Let's see, superhero comic. Yeah, that that sounds about like that's sounds like the kind of uh, Iron Age superhero stuff, right? Eight like mid to mid to late eighties into nineties. Plastic Man. Uh, I haven't read that, the kind of, the Plastic Man run from that time. Um, so I couldn't say. All right, let's get that. Let's go, go. And let's see what we're brewing here. Finish everything. Equipment, you're done. This one is downgraded a little bit, but it came out very nice. Let's check our special orders. Okay. We have two days, and it needs to smell good and look good. So, insight and drowsiness. Let's see if we can do this at all. Insight Enhancer, A, B, E. Oh, I don't know that I have much in the way of E at all. Yeah, I have C, E, A, B, E. Okay, well, that's something. Yeah, maybe we can do this. So they don't give any qualities. So look, right? needs to smell and look good. So one of those. And nope, that's too many measurements. So let's take all of you out. And let's go to this one. One, two, three. Okay, that's still too many. All right. It may be time to try to sell some more potions and buy new cauldrons. Oh, those are downgraded. Okay. Do that. I think that is the most I can make off of any of these. So then we're gonna go here. Those are all selling for less right now, so let's not do that. And then let's do some selling. Passionate professional. Let's captivate you. And then raise a bunch of interest. 
People have gone to war for lesser potions than this. And... The, uh, the kind of... Sometimes those comments hit harder than the mechanical manifestation would suggest. Okay, guided thought. And close it out. Nice. I tripped over three pirates on my way here. They're always underfoot. Get some shield. Excuse me. And end turn. Okay, so this is the side enhancer. I've got three interest left. Ooh. Excuse me, three, pa three pa uh, patients. So now five patients. Eleven. So we're going to pump up this one to get 17 more. Very nice. And then we're going to close it out to get up to highly interested. Ta-da! I don't even recognize the ingredients that went into this. The color came out just right. And since you're not giving me stress, I'm just going to go for interest here. Sylvia, come on! Build report. I know it's report. I'm being a goof. Okay. So that's some money. Now let's see if we can go buy a new, uh, like a better cauldron. And we got 381 from the uh, the vending machine. Very good. So here's Corsac. And you can buy more slime molds from Corsac. Hmm. Alright. I will take the little green buddy. You take care of each other, okay? Make good choices. I'm Batman. I mean, Corsac. I don't know who Batman is. He sounds cool. Alright. So, Crystal Cauldron. So, I have, I feel like I've underutilized some aspects of the game because I always just go for, okay, you have a higher max magimens, you have a higher max ingredients. So, let's say I'm going to get this one We're down to 734. I'm going to check upgrades. So, for this one, I need... A feathered gelatin to upgrade it. And I'm gonna go to Baptiste to see how the expedition went. And then I'm gonna buy some ingredients so that I can start working on maybe those um, special orders. We got Shadow Veil Pearl, Rotfly Adult, and a Phantom Palm. I am gonna go ahead and skip over to here. I don't know how much money I'm going to need to spend to get ingredients. I think I've used up a bunch of them. We're going to just hand over one of each of the stuff that I got that's new so that I can buy more copies later. All right, now, okay, this is cheaper. And these are cheaper. That's pretty nice. I'm looking for ingredients that will give me good smell and good, um, good looks. Need a couple of those. Good smell, yes, great. 12, let's get a few of those. get two of those. Good sound for potions. Good looks. 
Yes, with the eel. Thank you. Bad look on the frog leg. Horned jelly is bad smell, but, or bad, I guess, touch, but good look. And these are just uh, a great ingredient overall. These are you. You I don't have any of, so let's get one just in case it's useful. And let's get a few of you. And that takes me down to two. Can I buy? I can buy one Fayberry. Yep. Uh, the uh, I think the texture thing is why I like olive oil, but not like just olives on their own. Uh, I also had uh, I had a lot of trouble with mushrooms until later on when I was able to start eating them like cooked in different specific ways, and then got to appreciate them more. Because it turns out that there's a there's a whole bunch of neurological reasons why people might uh, have different issues with like textures and tastes and things, uh, and it's not just someone being quote unquote picky. All right, so insight enhancer A B E. Let's see if we can do this. We need it to look good and feel good, right? Yep, mushrooms. Okay, yep, taste and, or touch and look for insight and drowsiness. Insight. Okay. So, all right, that's that's way off. But this, that's also way off. All right, I don't know that that's happening. All right, let's make a shadow tonic, or maybe not. I need to do some expeditions that will give me other E adjuvant ingredients, it looks like. Yeah, touch and feel boards, that makes sense, yeah. Very, very, uh, very good comment. Uh, good thought, or no, it's not something I thought about before. Like, I guess thought about in specific as opposed to like, oh, it can be really handy to give young kids a variety of experiences to acclimate them to XYZ things, but also to be able to then identify if there are things that don't work for somebody. It's a very good thought. All right, ABD. I have a number of friends who are ABD. And they left academia. Because Academia will break your heart, like many other parts of the world. Yeah, the, that, that comment, uh, V, reminds me of um, hearing from people who got puppies early in the pandemic, having some struggles later on because the, those puppies did not get a lot of socialization after like getting adopted and leaving whatever their first household household was and that was still a thing when we started taking oreo to bark social the local like uh pay to be a member dog park that's also a bar place but now that's been open and active for a while that i think any of those challenges from folks who got a, a dog when we were closer to a lockdown even though it wasn't ever actually truly a lockdown in the u.s And then, of course, like the human babies who did not get to get much social interaction in their first year or two or something like that. 
we will be feeling the long-term impact for quite some time. And that's, and even if it's, uh, for not talking about the direct impact of like long COVID. Oh, uh, let's put in the new, um, the new uh, cauldron we have because it was not automatically added. Bloop. All right, now let's cook, let's break it in. We've got the cauldron, let's put it to use. Look at all those magiments we can put in there. Okay, so we're looking at A, B, D, as previously joked. Two, three, four, let's... Yeah, getting used to, to people. Well, um, big props to your uncle for helping pit bulls uh, fit into a world where they have been uh, slandered and demonized despite uh, kind of that being just mostly the result of bad trainers. It is important to have good trainers to, uh, to counter that. Okay, nine out of nine, very stable. Looks like that'll do it. And let's give it one of these. Oh, we don't actually need that. Because if it's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, then that'll be ready in the morning. Okay, and then I'm gonna wanna buy another cauldron to replace this one here. So let's use this cauldron to make just like a, effectively a, a cash cow. Let's do a speed potion. Can we do that? Two, three, four. Nope, that's marked down right now. It may not be marked down tomorrow, but I don't want to risk it. Let's go back to... Just some health potions. to a three. <laughs> Pitbulls as a hippo dog. Okay. Do we have enough to balance this out? Is this going to work? Perfect. just trust that there will be a market for them or that I can give them to heroes here in the future. So let's check our little slime friend. Hooray, look at that. And I saved one of these, yep, because I want to get a bunch more of those. What do I have a bunch of? Okay, I can give you some of that. Some of this, now we're gonna get 4X and then B ingredient for you. That's a C. Uh, yeah, we'll just give you a Raven's Shadow. What? Okay, it just got put back in there. Because I didn't put it actually on the slime mold, so it just went back into the inventory. Okay, so now let's go to deck builder because I don't need this so much. And craftsmanship. Poor. Let's take out the press your attack and add in chorus. 
That is Jingle. And, all right, so we do have 20, great. Let's go travel, we don't have stress, so we can go see Mint. I didn't actually meant to click on Baptiste, but hi. She's so chipper. New investment opportunities abound. I have no money. I'm just gonna be hanging out. I should probably hydrate after a quick victory lap. Nice. So these are mostly familiar things, but the Golem's Eye Diamond are great. Okay, I can't send you anywhere, but let's hang out. This will boost the relationship more. We're gonna read Sid's fan mail. Sid empties a rucksack full of envelopes onto a table. It's all fan mail addressed to her. In truth though, not every letter is from a fan. Mixed in with notes of admiration and affirmation, Sylvie discovers a lot of negativity. Their demands for songwriting feedback, noise complaints, rants about gender roles, and some unconstructive criticism of Sid's music. The bad ones seem to roll right off Sid's back, though. She focuses instead on a letter from a little girl who claims Sid has inspired her to become a musician herself. Sid, tell me how it is that you can ignore the negative feedback and only focus on and remember the positive. Teach me this magic. Sometimes that's all it takes, Sylvia. One nice letter makes all the heckling and rotten tomatoes worthwhile. Well, yeah, but how do you make them roll off your back? Yeah, seriously, teach me your magics. Uh, oh, I guess uh, I should just move this. Here we are. That's better. Good night, Sid. You're amazing. I wish I could learn your power. I guess this is why they call this fantasy. The, the fantasy of having a uh, having a friend, having a uh, a creator friend who can uh, let the negative feedback wash off their back. The whole town seems on edge since Boss Finch started throwing his weight around. Have you noticed? I've noticed that you seem concerned. Shouldn't I be? Roxanne's bark was always worse than her bike. Bite. Corsac was more misanthropic than malicious. Simply stop reading reviews. Yeah, also wise. I I have not logged into Goodreads in months. But something about this guy feels different, Owl. What if I don't have what it takes? I wouldn't worry about that. I'm sure, certain you're more than capable and, and um, well, it's awful that you're in this situation, that's for certain. For certain, but, um, but really it isn't everyone's fault, per se. And wait, what was the question again? Uh, what's going on with you? You seem less together than usual. Well, I don't like seeing you this way. I suppose I've grown accustomed to your bravado. It's made it easier to ignore the full gravity of your situation. A situation um, for which I'm, well, um, partly to blame. Just a little. How so? You must have guessed by now, or at least suspected my name, my true name. It isn't Owl. It's Oswald. Dun dun dun! That thing that I guessed only like an hour in. If you check the VODs, you can find out how far in it is that I guessed. Um... Uncle Oswald, it's really you, isn't it? I'm afraid so. But how? How is that possible? It's quite the story, but most of what I've told you is true. My debt had grown beyond my control. I was desperate for money. So I set out from Maven's castle, and I made it, Sylvia. Thanks to my potions, I was the first in decades to set foot there. But I set that foot right into a booby trap, some strange runic circle charged with transmogrifying magics. One moment I was a handsome, broad-shouldered gentleman with a winning smile, and quite tall. Good grief. And the next moment I was this. I was horrified and confused. I could think of nothing else but how to undo my transformation. I fled the place and returned to my shop. That's when I realized 
Everyone believed I was dead. Everyone, including a certain debt collector. And despite my unusual circumstances, I breathed a sigh of relief because I finally felt safe. How nice for you. Well, it's great for me, though. Putting you in my will, I thought that was a good thing, a generous thing. I just, I just didn't think it through. You must know that's true. As desperate as I was, I never would have chosen to burden you with all of this. Then you should have told me this sooner. You could have been honest. And you definitely should have spoken up when Helene first came for me. You're right. You're right about that. I regret my inaction at that moment, Sylvia, more than I can say. If I were smart, I'd turn you over to her right now. This debt is your responsibility. I shouldn't even be in this mess. As degenerate as I was. <laughs> but I've invested so much in this shop. It's mine now, and I won't let Helene repossess it over your breach of contract. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you for not handing me over to her. For giving me another chance. I didn't say anything about giving you another chance. The last thing I need around here is a business partner who's been lying to my face. But, but, Sylvia... I'm going to beat Boss Finn, I'm going to pay off this debt to save myself and my shop from the clutches of the bank, and I'm going to do it on my own. No big deal, though. Turns out in every way that matters, I've been on my own since the start. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. You don't mean that, Sylvia. Oh, no. Drama. No, that isn't I. I understand. I suppose I'll just... I'll give you some space. <gasps> Aw. Yes, he's a total screw-up, and he should have said things way, way uh, sooner. But he's family. And he is trying, I guess. All right, so I have this one. I just don't have that one. All right, one more for that. Let's make... Uh, can I make a Shadow Potion? B and D. No, I have C and E. So A, C for fire tonic. Yes. Thunder tonic. Yep, let's make a thunder tonic. B and D. Miasma spore. Let's check our gardening. Okay, here we go. Four of those. And two of these. Let's see. Let's get some of those going. And a little bit more of this. All right, can I sell this? So I can sell that one and these. All right, and then I should buy a shelf here soon. Hmm. All right, it's 326. I think I will probably take a short break after this round of sales. Draw a card, increase potion thing, okay, and end turn. Alright, two patients left, so possibly one move. Yep, I can raise that. So then let's do this, which will put me in range of, nope, not quite. This will still give us a bonus. Alright. Chorus, this is a great potion. And end turn. I would if I could, but I can't, so I won't. This is a great. This is a great potion. This is a great potion. And finish it off. Okay, and 
last person. Oops. Starting with two closers is not what I'm looking for. Chorus. Pump up. Draw a card, and that's a doubt card. That's a stress card, which is not great. You have six patients left, so I'm gonna eat it, kind of suck it up a little bit. And then try to, yep, here we go. Get us up to six. Sympathy. 11 more interest, and then 10 more. And then not quite to the next tier but it still gets us some decent money. Okay, and then my gardening should be done, yes. And we're just gonna put these right back in to build up that stock. All right, I'm gonna go buy the shelves from Muktuk before I forget what I'm trying to do here. Because more shelves will let me buy, will let me um, sell some more stuff. Potion capacity three. But big price increase. All right, let's buy Sulfuric Falls shelf. And then I'm gonna need ingredients. Let's, however, hang out. Let's do some blacksmithing. Because I need to reduce stress. Muktuk invites Sylvia into his sled, where he's got to set out a variety of tools. They decide to make a, a dagger together, which is less complicated than a larger item, but will still be easy for Muktuk to sell. The sled is hot, but Sylvia finds the heat helps her concentrate. She's used to working above a boiling cauldron, and this isn't so different. As with potions, crafting weapon inv involves precision, patience, and single-minded focus. Sylvia has these skills in spades. A natural light of the anvil. If you are a tire of potions, there is a place for you at my forge. This voice is less different than Oswald is uh, than I was hoping. It's fine. He has more bravado. I was also trying to not just do dwarf for Muktuk, uh, voice-wise. Because, you know, Dwarven Forge and so on and so forth. All right, we'll give you one of these fleas. And... Buy some of this stuff. Phantom Palm. Any of you give E? You do give E. Bargeist Canine. Malachite Ore. Let's get both of those while they're cheap. Finland or Canadian? Yeah, I I don't, or I could attempt a Finnish accent, but I don't think it would be uh, even remotely accurate. So I would be just doing something that uses fin the Finnish accent as a North Star and then goes somewhere completely different. Because um, I have, I, I know some Finns, I have been to Finland, but... I don't feel like trying to uh, to do a Finnish accent uh, just right now. I'd have to go and uh, kind of listen up a bit more before before giving that a shot. But I do like playing these games as a way to practice my accents and character voices. And let's see, that was that. Alright, 
Let's get some of you. All right, now I think we're gonna take a quick break. So I'm gonna save slot two. So my plan is to go until about five. So I am going to go to my break card uh, and then take a couple minutes. I might take the dog out. So this break might be about five minutes and it might be more like 10, 15 minutes. Uh, so keep an eye out. I wish I could uh, tell you more definitively. I mean, Oreo looks very happily flopped, but that may change as soon as I get up. So stay tuned. Uh, if you have to head out, thank you so much for hanging with me. I have We have uh, Girl by Moonlight Fractal Spire this Sunday at 7 p.m. over at twitch.tv slash Harvin Here's the speculate command where you can... Uh, yeah, so Oreo walk, Oreo's walk has to be very short for his foot, but there is a difference between the I need to go walk and the I want to sm smell all the things walk, uh, as you say, Arudno. So yeah, I'll be back in a bit. I just don't know how long a, a bit is from now. Such is life. See you in a few.
Okay, I'm back. You can hear me right. The game is on. Excellent. Uh, and to let you know, V, uh, I did pet Wario, and he leaned into the scritches to the point where he slid off of his dog bed, but not in a like thunk way, just did a slowly rolling off the side onto the other part of his blanket, which was very funny. So a good time was had by all. However, it means that he's now awake and I may have to take another break depending on uh, what the next thing in his dog uh, day cycle is going to be. But that will be uh, well worth it for the glorious dog content. All right, these are still going. And let me see what else I can brew. Yes, perfect time to use the Oreo Wag emote. Very nicely done, Arudinel. Poison Cure, I think I can probably do that. A, B, D, A and D, no. Just this, one, two, three. Just C. And then a bunch of A. Oh, I did not get the um, the spiky pokey thing, so I may not be able to do that just now. What about A, C? No. A, C, D, A, B, E. So, not this. Alright. Start over. New cup, move down. Common mana potion. And then one of these to be perfect. Perfect. And got you. Lovely. And then in you, I will make, let's just make more of the same. Because I have six of these. Just to do some workhorse uh, potion making for sending heroes out. And now we will sleep. So we're going to make money and build our capacity in these three days. And then we're going to make the competition potions in those three days. Oswald did, in fact, lead. Baptiste. Hello, Sylvia. Nice day, isn't it? It's definitely a great day to buy a potion. See anything you like? Ha! Well, it's easy to see how you've advanced so far on the competition circuit. Those festival days are just so frantic. I'm sorry we haven't had a chance to talk before now, but guild business compelled me to drop in on you today. I wanted to let you know about an issue that some of the heroes have been having with a certain potion maker. Uh-oh. Is everything okay? From what I can gather, some intrepid entrepreneur has been patent trolling. He's currently claiming the exclusive right to buy, sell, and trade a whole range of potions upon the Isle of Rafta. What? That's absurd. Nobody has the right to do that, and I have no intention of honoring some arbitrary restriction about what I'm allowed to sell. Good for you. In fact, I've made an appeal to the authorities myself. Unfortunately, the perpetrator has two things going for him. Magic and red tape. The patent he imposed on is magical in nature, meaning you couldn't break it if you tried. And it could be weeks before the Central Commission reviews all the paperwork and makes a ruling on the matter. This is a disaster. Weeks? I'm not sure my business can hold on for that long. Boss Finn must be the one behind this. He's trying to beat me before we even get to the competition. You guessed it right. 
but you're not the only one he's hurting with this move. And you must know, my heroes frequent the lotion potion, po potion shops. Now that Boss Finn has a stranglehold on the market, they're forced to go to him, and he's able to charge exorbitant fees. So now he's going to be swarmy and smarmy and rich. What a great competition com uh, combination! He's definitely not making it easy for me. That was the, that was the Baptiste voice. He's definitely not making it easy for me, but this only makes me more determined than ever to beat him. I had a feeling you'd say as much. And keep in mind, the restriction on selling potions does not extend to the gifting of potions. So if you're to send a hero out on an adventure, you're free to outfit them with potions as usual. Thus, it behooves me to mention that even in this time of uncertainty, the Heroes Guild remains open for all your adventuring needs. Well, I've got to admire that hustle. Well, like, I guess aren't many of the rich... Aren't many of the patent trolls also already rich people like Martin Shkreli? So then we get the overlap. Uh, I admit I don't know... Like, Shkreli is the name that comes to mind when I think about patent trolling, so there may be a whole rest of the ecosystem that uh, is different. Let's do one of these. All right, let's see what we've brewed. Is everything, anything done? Nope, they're still going. So what can we sell? All right, so we do have some of these. We can do one of that. Oh, and I do have, I bought a, um, a shelf. Right? Store shelves. Plop. And I don't have room because I need to expand. So that's the next thing to do, is to buy the room for a second shelf. Okay. But the these shelves will make stuff sell for more, right? Okay. 15% price increase. Additional plus five for potions. Mana potion. Okay, no, that's. Let's do this again. Great. No bonus. Open shop. So, shrewd investments. I don't know about this, but maybe. Okay. Plus 3% right on. Chorus. Let's gain shields that we don't stress. I will gain less shield this next turn, but what are you gonna do? I'm gonna do four. So that's some shield. The chorus. Six left. All right. I'm gonna take a little bit here. <laughs> captivate. More captivate. And block and pump up. So let's go ahead and use this, which will finish us off and avoid that stress. Captivate, pump up. All right, I don't wanna deal with your stress. I'm just gonna finish off. Cause I was gonna take four and they had some shield. Okay, so let's go for a bunch of that and end turn. I should have done the pump up before the uh, 11. Okay, chorus. And keep your guard up, so now I won't take stress and I will have the chance for maybe one more move. Okay. 
Okay, so Captivate will give me a little bit of room to do stuff. Supply Sympathy, and then this. Like this up to 215, that takes us to six and change, but I should really spend this money on ingredients. And then sell a bunch more stuff and maybe buy um, the shelf expansion. It is fun that there's a lot of different things to balance and kind of bring together in order to kind of build your business. All right, and we'll check our gardening. The nice thing about gardening is that it can kind of offset some of your uh, ingredient buying costs because you're just, I put one in and I get two out. I have not been putting a lot of other ingredients in these because I feel like I'm fairly um, short on ingredients. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy a couple of these. I'm gonna get one of these. And then I'm going to go do an expedition to try to get some of the stuff from the categories that do um, the e magimens because I need those for potions this time around. And let's get one of you. Okay. So now we're going to go and we're going to see Sid to send her on another expedition. So let's do a, small, a short hangout first to get rid of stress. And then a quest. Adventure! All right, so... Do we have this? This is ice. Yeah, I can do this. Health potion, mana potion. That should do, right? 27, 11, 18, 21, 28. No, I need one more health potion. Okay, and I'll do this one. This may not get me E, because I think E might be other areas, because there's it's like bugs. Um, like spiders, I remember as being the e, some, having some e magimens. But the nice thing is that every time you do one of these quests, you get a different set of things. So who knows? All right, so that's A D. That's very handy. And you are forty-eight sixteen. All right, let's do just this one. Oh, can we do both of these? We can. All right. One each of those to feed them to Quinn. And where can we go? Let's go see Corsac. Yeah, I think what I found is that I want to go to each biome at least a couple of times to get ingredients that I wouldn't be able to access otherwise and then maybe I stop sending people there in my offline game I had a big trough of time in the middle when I just wasn't really doing adventures much at all because I wasn't making the potions that I needed for them to be able to get all the way through an adventure and I think it put me behind the curve in gaining new ingredients arm wrestling Corsac seems to have forgotten how soundly Sylvia thrashed him the last time they competed at something. Now he's challenging her to arm wrestle. Sylvia isn't one to back down from a challenge. When he holds out his hand, she takes it in her own. They count to three, and the contest begins. It's a stalemate for long seconds, but Sylvia has used all of her strength right out of the gate. She tires, and slowly, inexorably, Corsac presses her hand down to the table. A worthy effort. Let's do it again soon. Hello, Sylvia. You can stay.
was just about to do some birdhouse construction. You any good with tools? Korzak doesn't wait for an answer. He hands over a small hammer and sets to work on his construction project. Occasionally, Korsak will grunt to indicate that Sylvia should hammer a nail while he holds wooden boards in place. So this is pretty fun, right? Hmm. Right, cool. In just a short time, they've constructed a, four, a small four-sided box with circular entrances in each wall and a sloping roof. Um, I... So in my offline game, I was romancing Mint, so I was sending her on more stuff, because I would go see her, I'd hang out, and then do an adventure. What? This? This is just the foyer. You know, that's the most you've said since I got here. You're not much of a talker, are you? I suppose I'm out of practice. Been a while since I spent much time in the company of human beings. Really? Because people seem to be flocking to you when you were selling potions. I sort of had the impression that you'd amass some fans, maybe even some groupies seemed to have scared them off. They kept coming around with something like hunger in their eyes. Started to feel like I was on the menu. So I spritzed them with some urine from a saber-toothed cantaloupe. Very pungent stuff, that urine. Oof, yeah, that's one way to chase people off. But that hunger you saw, maybe they were just eager to befriend you? Not sure I'm looking for friends. Been a long time since I ran with a pack. Don't mind you being here and helping out with the birdhouse, though. But I'm not sure I've got much to offer when it comes to socializing. I doubt that's true. You obviously lead an interesting life. So tell me about it. What have you been up to? Well, today I started working on a birdhouse. Right, I was here for that part, remember? I don't mean to be obtuse, Sylvia, and I, re I do recognize when I'm being awkward, but despite what you may think, chit-chat isn't as natural as all that. When you're up against a cornered animal, it isn't so hard to know what the animal's going to do. The talking's different. People zig when you think they'll zag. They ask you questions already knowing what answers they want to hear. It's more complicated than anything I encounter out in the wilderness. People are messy. But you'll get the hang out of it. Somebody is knocking. I will be right back. It was just a package. Homo sapiens, to be exact. At any rate, I shouldn't complain. This is a new situation I'm in. Sure. But adaptability? That's what I do. You've got to be nimble on your feet if you want to survive a hostile setting. Adapt! So, you can only use this if you're in a stance. But if you have the stance, it'll do a lot, right? Let's get the east wing started next. That's where the water slide will go. Okay, so I don't have the money to send you to do anything else, but I will check out whether I want to use the adapt card stuff. Excuse me. Fifty-eight. So we'll go for another thirty something minutes, maybe more. Greetings, Sylvia, and please make no effort to sell me anything. That's the voice. I know very well the many merits of your potions. Today, however, I am not here to spend gold, but to tell you I am once again expanding my offerings. I'm all ears. Human ears are very prominent. That is true. But as for my news, for this day forth, in addition to cauldrons, I shall offer for sale aging barrels. Placing a potion in such a barrel will assuredly elevate its quality and thus its selling price. It means delaying gratification for yourself and your eager customers. But thus the saying goes, great things to come to those who shop with Muktuk. You know, I've actually never said that, but I'm going to start. 
An aging barrel could definitely come in handy on those occasions when I'm not rushing to get a potion out immediately. From cauldron to shelf. I knew you would see the wisdom in this. Come and visit me when you are ready to begin. If you can supply the materials, I shall supply the rest. And Sylvia, good luck, yes? This boss fin makes the hairs of my mustache stand on end. It would be good, I think, for you to trounce him. Halfway through the week is what Oswald would say if he were here. Okay, let's... Yep, bloop. And bloop. All right, got some of that. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, okay. I guess it will make something. It just doesn't work as well because it's not the, the right Magimen. Alright, so let's check what we brewed and make some money. Health potion, great. Guess potions, right? Because the shelf I have is good at, is better for potions. B C C D. All right, I guess. Seventy-six. All right, it's gonna have to be close enough. Okay, because I can use two of those and it'll brew in one. And I can, I can age things. So let's age some of these health potions. So you can only age one type of one, like, batch. Bum, bum, bum. Arrange potions. Okay. And deck builder. sack and two three four and then one of something I guess we'll have some stress relief and open shop can I use the squirrel powers Yeah, I think there's definitely a variant of this game where you kind of, where the gardening is a bigger part of it, right? That would be pretty fun. Okay, and pump up. But let's not use the closer just yet. I've got to get home before my turtles wreck the place. What? How are the turtles going to wreck the place? Are they teenage mutants? Are they ninjas? turn. We haven't gotten to do adapt yet. Turtles get into everything. Okay, you're, you've got a turtle thing. Okay. Ah, so that's 16, which is very good. And then max interest. Very good. So adapt plus um, the build up would, will be really great. And shield. 
So we'll take only a tiny bit of stress. With six left. So captivate, build rapport. Can't use that because I need the stance. So we'll end turn and hope to draw a squirrel and adapt. But maybe we will not. Okay, so that's Captivate. There's Squirrel. Here's this. We don't get a pump up. So we're going to adapt. And then sleight of hand. Nice, maxed out. Service Garçon, can we get a discount or what? Ferocity of the Squirrel. Adapt. Uh, we'll take some stress, but... Oh, so you're some kind of hotshot now. Captivate. Captivate. Bump up. All right. A little bit extra stress. A vest, ahoy, aye, aye. They're just sp speaking pirate gobbledygook at you. Bump up. 17 interest. And close out. Okay. So I. Hmm. 822. I suppose I could go to try to get my second shelf going. Speed potion. Excellent. And I should go and get my. I should check my gardening for my slimes. Okay, and you're still working. those much more than I need anything else. Custom. I've got two days on that. I don't know that I can do this though. I need taste and look. Let me check my options here. Bad, good, Good. C and B. Bad luck, good luck, good luck. Hmm. But in two days, I think that may be too distracting from the other things I need to do. this now. One, two, three, four. A, C, D. C, E. B, C, D. C, D. Okay, so I can use both of these. Three of those, and then add some stuff that's D, one, two. Okay, so that's a greater poison cure. We can do that. Two, three, yep. We can use that for hero stuff later on. All 
All right, let's see. Let's go visit Saffron and see if we can build out room for that next shelf. Shelf. We need one more wood thing. I can do that. And shelf. Okay. And let's hang out. Enjoy the silence. Quieting the mind doesn't come naturally to Sylvia. She fidgets as uncontrollably as ever, but she's reassured by Saffron's patience. Hope you receive some measure of comfort, if only a little. Rank up, rank up. Friendly chat's always welcome. Where are we going today? Let me put my tools aside and give you my full attention. What are you working on? A bit of everything. At the moment, I'm putting the finishing touches on a set of wooden tongs for a pickle merchant. But in the last few days, I've had more commissions than ever before. I heard the Heroes Guild's new ringleader was having some success with his recruitment drive. For better or worse, I suppose I should have realized that more heroes meant more civilians too. And now, for the first time in decades, town is booming. I mean, it's gotta be if they need a whole merchant just to sell pickles. Sounds like you're pretty busy. I could come back later. Don't be silly. If we didn't make time for pleasant diversions, we'd both be working too much. That might be a lesson for your own shop. Sometimes a customer prefers a bit of casual conversation to speedy service. Casual conversation, raise interest by one for every current point of patience. So this would be really good in the competitions where Robin starts with like 20 patients or 30 actually. I should probably deliver these tongs in per person, but I don't quite know my right way around town. How would you feel about showing me around? Goodness, so many people. Where'd they all come from? It's almost overwhelming. Do you want to head back? I understand if so. That's kind, but no. My curiosity is peaked. Do you see how many boots are selling ready-to-wear clothing? Doesn't anyone sew at home anymore? Next thing you know, people will be paying money to have strangers prepare their meals, or cut their hair. This place has changed a lot, quite a lot. When I first set hoof to shore, the livestock outnumbered the people here. What brought you here originally, Saffron? Oh, that's a long story. Let's just say I'm another link in a long chain of those who came to Rafta expecting glory, only to find something else entirely. But that was years ago. Today I'm content simply to take in the sights. Glad for the break. Even this outing was meant to be an errand for work, wasn't it? But having you here was with me has made it a much such a pleasant experience. I feel properly revitalized. So thank you, Sylvia, for the gift you've given me today. The gift of your company. She's very nice. All right, down to 1% stress. Much better. Hey, and look, there's a second shelf. Let's make sure that we're using the better one that we have. Right, mushroom shelf. Great. Last time slot in the day, so we can't sell anything tonight. But we can collect up all of those. Beautiful, beautiful. Just make a couple of those real quick. All right, um, I guess I could travel and get ingredients, but let's start brewing here. This one is done. Oh, so I could send somebody on a, um, a hero journey. Actually, let's start something brewing because we'll get free slots overnight. Two time chunks. A D. Uh, let's 
let's take that out actually. Just do a very basic ice tonic. And we're going to go check and see if Baptiste has anything for us and then send somebody on an adventure. Sorry, I meant to see Baptiste. Here we go. Medusa spore and weeping metal ore. What do you have? What do you have today? B D A C C. Oh wow, those are all great. And let's go see Sid. See if we can send her on another adventure. Okay, cool. Dwarf Kraken is great. It's 40 Magimans of A, but it does have a, ba a downside. All right, so I want you to go to Mushroom Mire, because here's, here's poison. Here, there's a health potion. Is that going to be enough? enough or do you need mana as well? Okay. Go for it. And see if we can send mint somewhere else while I'm at it. Crystalline forest, you need silence cure. Okay. But... Storm Plains. I do have one of these. Is that going to be enough? Great. So, go do all the things. And now, back home. And cure of thunder. Okay, so those I don't, I don't as much need the E things, but I do want to unlock them. Yeah, like I sometimes end up just brewing something to brew to have potions to sell, whether it's in the vending machine or whatever. But I don't know that it's the most fun part of the game, right? Collect, collect, get some of those going, and you can make those. Great. Okay, so I sent people out overnight, which theoretically means that I can do things, but let's... It may be better to try to sell stuff first. These are cures. Potions. Speed potion, speed potion, fire. Turn around and say Alright, so we're just trying to get all the money right now. Make sure that nothing, none of these notifications are actually anything important. I mean, there's a Patreon update from uh, Queen's Court Games. That's important, but I'll get to it later. And build rapport. Pump up. Pump up. 
Okay, we've got four left. So we're going to captivate. You're going to do three. We're going to lose two. So if we do this, we will have enough to last a turn. Long update, lots of news. Well, then I will look forward to that later on. Okay, so I can get Frosty the Squirrel, but I won't be able to capitalize on it. So let's do this one, and then sleight of hand. I dig this hat. I want the hat. Frosty of the Squirrel. Keep your guard up. I don't need that. Just right now. Excuse me, this is a rad potion. Adapt. Captivate. 12 on that. You have six left. I will lose three. I can handle that. Rude. All right. Build rapport. And then I have one left, so I will close my deal. So I can see the trade-off with the adapt because you have to be able to play the squirrel ahead of time. And if you don't, it like kind of fills up the, fills up your hand. Look, I, I only sold two of these. I don't, I don't quite get why some things don't sell. I guess it's like people are looking for something. So maybe some like any even customer is looking for a cure, a tonic, an enhancer or whatever. And maybe that's how that operates but I still have some money. I can check my gardening. So Aaron or V, if you're still here and you have figured out why sometimes potions don't get sold uh, and are able to share that, that would be lovely. The marketing can help. Okay, that, that certainly makes sense. How, it is, how is it that, uh, that you'd know what the marketing does, V? Hmm. Try and plan the potions around the bargaining, yeah. <laughs> Look at I fight a lot! That one night! <laughs> Expensive potions in the front store front window. Okay. Uh, I will look into that. So let's see about buying a, um, a window display. Speaking of which... Okay, I guess we can get... This is the one we can get, so let's get it. And then let's go see how our heroes have done. Conquered the swamp. Can we be done with mud for a while? All right, so that's C, B, B, D, B, C, A, B, C, D. Okay, great, good job. Let's hang out some more. I will romance this musician. There will be smooches. Her outfit is amazing. Okay, so that's D. That's B. This, one. this is all good stuff. The, the antler jelly, I think, was the thing I needed to upgrade one of my um, cauldrons, but it may be a cauldron I'm not using anymore. So let's send you out again. Can you go someplace else? Bone wastes, sulfuric falls, you need poison. Great, so I can also do that because I have fire. And I have one of these, and I have one of those. How does this look? If it's for the cauldron I just brought, just bought, then that would be pretty great. Okay, but I... I have a mana potion. 
Okay, I guess I don't... Maybe I can't do that one just now. So, let's go see Muktuk, and maybe we can upgrade that cauldron. That would be pretty great. Shelves. Hmm. Okay. Can you only upgrade things that aren't equipped? Maybe... You can only upgrade things that are not actively in use. Okay. Hmm. I suppose you have to take them you have to like take them off the floor and bring them to Muktuk, right? That I guess that that makes sense. It's logical. It's like Muktuk, just come over and, and upgrade it. Bring your sled. I'll order pizza. So customization. This is being used. Is this brood? This is brood. Okay. Good brew on that tonic. Oak aged health potion. Lovely. So now... His heating kiln can do a great thin cusp pizza, right? Fantastic. So just do that. And then I'm going to go... I'm going to trundle over and bring you this thing. It'll be really funny if it uh, it can be upgraded, but I don't have the money for it anymore because it's like 350 or more. Yep, 440. Feathered gelatin, not antlered something or other. Very well. Sorry, bud. I got your hopes up for nothing. The debate. Yeah, plays. Yeah. So, what I have, I do have a display shelf, so I can put that here. Let's put this one back. Barrels. I have not bought any new barrels. We've just got those two here. Store shelves, display shelves, flooring. Where did I get? I got some kind of cool flooring. I thought I had. Mushroom mire wall. Oh, that's cool. No. That And back we go. So it's too late for that. We can garden. All right, we're gonna get, give me some of those. And B. Da -da. All right, some of that. And then I got some stuff, so let's check with Quinn. But first, I'm going to put something rad up front. 176. How about you go here? Let's go see Quinn and maybe buy something, slash feed them something. Yep, look at all the stuff I can give them. So putting other potions in the window, even on normal display shelves, will help? I guess that makes sense. I had not noticed a difference, but maybe I wasn't paying attention to the right part. All right. So this is what I get for not, like, actually looking anything up about this game. And just kind of barreling forward, focusing on the romance.
How's it hanging, chum? You feel like tapping out at any point, you just let me know. Are you for real? This isn't a wrestling match we're talking about. It's my career. So if you're uh, so if you're expecting me to just quit, you're deluding yourself. Flashing those teeth of yours again, eh? You talk to all your customers like that? <laughs> Owl mentions it for like one sentence. Okay, that's that sounds about right. I'm pretty sure you have to buy something to be considered a customer. You know, I'd almost be willing to buy a stamina potion off you, but that would be an illegal transaction. And I know a promising young potion maker like yourself wouldn't want to show such disrespect to the law or to me. Don't me tell you, don't tell me you're still patent trolling and you actually bragging about it. Guess you can't beat me without resorting to dirty tricks. It's an unconventional strategy, sure. I call that thinking outside the tank. I call it unethical and possibly illegal. Whoa, whoa, watch the slander, chum. Have I broken any laws here? I don't actually know the answer to that, but I've got some really good lawyers on retainer. The kind of guys who just love to drag out the proceedings. You got money to burn on that sort of thing? Go ahead and burn it. Maybe I can't take you to court, but I'm going to fight this Finn however I can. Hey, I don't expect anything less from you, chum, and I wouldn't want this to be too easy. It's a real bad habit of mine, I know. But I've always liked to play with my food. Cannot sell cures. All right, arrange potions. Cannot sell cures. What if I put... No, but... What if I put them here? Right. Some of this. Some of that. One of these. Some of that. Some of this. Okay, and gardening. Collect. And then let's start brewing some stuff. Because I need to get things to make things. We're on day 27, 27, 28, 29. I do need to start making things. So poison cure, ACD. A D nope A C Not looking great for old home kid. Okay. Let's just do this. B. Grand health potion. Great. Now I'm going to just sell a bunch of things and go buy all the ingredients that I need. I hope. I'm going to sell all the potions this time because I put so many things in the window. Great opener. Dun 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 dun. That's just costing me time. Captivate. Build rapport. Strike now. Strike now. Close deal. All right then. Lots of noise outside, not a single bird. Don't believe what they say about lightning. Um, I mean, 
I'm going to need to make this for the competition, so let's see if I can do that. Get all of that. Very nice. And turn. Build rapport. Adapt. And let's just do that. Okay, that didn't make me a whole lot. Your displays look no so nice today. Excellent. Pump up. Keep your guard up. And turn. Yeah, it does it does seem like the patent trolling is working because people are are afraid of his lawyers, which feels accurate. And the people in this case may include like local law enforcement or local like courts. Okay, and The Chilling Effect by Valerie Valdez. Found family space opera available in all fine bookstores. <laughs> I, w I had jury duty yesterday, which was not fun, but it did mean I got to read some of um, uh, book three in Valerie series. And that, that book is fun, though it's very high stakes. Ava spends much of the beginning of that book wishing that a certain character were around, and big same Ava. Pump up. And 18. Get some more of that. And then close deal. I imagine that the weight does pay off. Let's reduce some of that stress. And if folks didn't see, uh, the cover reveal for Valerie's next book uh, was earlier this week on The Social. Uh, Valerie, if you have a link to that on hand and would like to share it, please feel free to do so, since I think a lot of people that are here and like my books are kind of going to be very in inclined to liking your books as well. As well. And for folks who don't know, uh, the Kids Are Asleep is the Twitch handle for Valerie Valdez, who is a fine fan uh, fantasy and science fiction writer, and uh, as well as one of the member of the Strange Friends. Is Twitter actually broken right now? Okay, it's loading for me, but you never know. If there's another place where uh, the cover reveal is, that we can point to, then that was great. Uh, maybe that just, you know, like, website or something. Okay, we're down to five. Yeah, we'll just do this. Yep, website. So, Where Peace is Lost is the next book. Ferocity of the Squirrel. Tension. Okay, and you've got some shield. So let's do this and get the sympathy. Press the attack. Adapt. Big bonus there. 
and then finish things off. Yep, getting that second shelf. Um, um, I think she may do the squirrel pose. I just blew through cards quickly. So yeah, looks like filling up my display shelves worked very well. Thank you very much, uh, V and Aaron, for your tips. Uh oh, I think the dog is the dog is stirring. He's staring at the door. So I think I will probably finish out this day and then call it. So we got a bunch of money. Which means I should check my slimes. Forty-eight sixteen. Let's do one of those and one of these, and then let's feed you a bunch of something with A in it to get more. Great, 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 great. And so those are that. Check my brewing. Okay, you've got one left here. Let's go travel. Let's check on Expedition and our heroes. Great, so Rotfly Matriarch, Buoyant Blowfish. Ooh, that's great. Daredevil Pepper, 32. Oh, I don't know that I've gotten those before. Shallow Grave Inoki. Okay, that's going to be good for later potions that take a bunch of things. What do you got? Ice, Crags, Avalanche Cricket. Let's do one of those, but mostly I'm just going to be buying ingredients today, I think. Yeah, Thanksgiving is a bit hard to rhyme. Um, I don't know that I have the stuff to send you out on things, so I'm just going to say hello and then go here. I have potion. I have to make a bunch of potions, Sid. I'm sorry. I want to hang out more, but it's not going to work today. I have to sell a bunch of things to Quinn and then buy more of them tomorrow so that I can make more things. All right, so I'm going I'm just looking up third competition. Uh, what? No, nope, that's not what I want. And I want to remind myself which competition or which potion I need for the, this competition and what ingredients it needs. Corsac. So we need Poison Cure. Omex Formula. I wish you could look those up from anywhere. Poison is 2A to 1C to 1D. Great. So let's look for individual things that will give a high amount of C and D. So you, you give B and C, bog beat, I'm gonna get a couple of you for later. I, don't, I haven't gotten the, the higher horn that this does like 40 something or 60 something of that. B and E, C and D, I think, well, I have four of you, I will get some later. B and D, C and D, I will get a couple of, uh, one of those that I'm allowed. Let's get a number of those, B and C, C, D, let's get some of these, whatever I'm allowed, C. Great. Let's maybe 
You are 40 of C. Great. B, D, 30. That's what I'm looking. That's what I'm looking for. Get some of that. 18, B, D. And then I'm going to need to get some of you. Because I will need a bunch of that. Thank you, Quinn. I already did that. I appreciate that you have a cool mimic chest. And let's go here. Alright, so let's try and get the great poison cure brewing today. Of course, I have a thing in here, but it should be done now. Yes, grand health potion. Beautiful. So we're using our best one of these. We're going to do poison. And then one, two, three, four. And then C. One, two, three, and then D, we're looking at Fulgurite, Grand Poison Cure, but it's not quite enough. So let's take one of these out and let's do one of those. Something that does C and D. This will just, so if I take out one of these, no, not the keyring horn, one of those. If I take one of the dwarf krakens out and I replace it with C, D, where are you? One of you is like a bunch of everything. Yeah, copper dollop. Okay, and then I add D, fulgurite. Grand, it's going to be chance of potion getting one more star. Hmm. Am I missing something here? A, D? Something that is A and D? No. Because this is recommended grand potion three or higher. Well, what if I try something else right now? Lightning, B and D, okay. I do have one of those. Okay, and then just a whole bunch of this. Three, four, five. That's only greater. It's not grand, and it's too much of this. That's B and E, A, B, C. Greater Thunder Tonic, no. I may have uh, messed up my materials acquisition curve. Yeah, and I definitely don't have good stuff for E. I mean, I guess I have the Leslie core. It's just that then I don't have much other stuff that will give me E. I need the bugs. The bugs give E. Well, this may be where I call it um, to save and then figure out if I, uh, if I'm, I'm effed. So we're going to do this slot one as our next save in case we need to fall back to 23 and do a better job of getting those um, e magimen ingredients and selling more of our stuff earlier by putting stuff on display shelves, thanks to the suggestions from V and Aaron. But we had some good times, got 
to know more about some various characters, Squirrel Stance, and I think I'm going to go take out Mr. Oreo, and then we're going to have a weekend. So that will be very fun. As I said earlier, Speculate's uh, Girl by Moonlight Fractal Spire will be continuing this Sunday uh, at 7 p.m. Eastern. This may be one of our last sessions of Fractal Spire because thanks to an incredible um, uh, empathize critical from uh, Valerie's character, Nina, we uh, made some very interesting discoveries in the last session if you haven't caught up to the latest bit in Fractal Spire. And that has put us in a position for some wild stuff and perhaps accelerated us into the end game, which will be very exciting. Those roles, absolutely amazing. Good at role-playing games. Uh, so you can listen to Fractal Spire on the Patreon, uh, or sorry, on the Speculate podcast feed. You can watch those on YouTube, and you can join us live this Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern, uh, which will be very fun. It will probably be a little bit later, not like this Sunday, but another, like a week maybe a week and a half or two weeks from now before you hear more about speculate future plans because um, we're quite busy through the end of this month with holiday stuff and other things and we're getting into the very busy part of the semester for Greg uh, because he's a teacher but we are excited about uh, doing very very fun and some new things in 2023 we've been talking about that a bit already with uh, with some folks so stay tuned for all of that awesomeness. And I want to say thank you to Arunel, to The Kids Are Asleep, to QCG Aaron, The Queen V, uh, tri uh, let's see, Trifity Mats was here earlier, and to everybody else who was hanging out, that was Oreo sneezing very loudly in the background which I take as an indication that he's awake and the time for walkies has arrived. I'm just going to look on Twitch real quick to see if there's someone that we should raid. Your way through life. <laughs> Let's block that. Lobos Jr. Okay, Devil Army, I don't know that. Um, so people we can raid are people that we've raided very recently. So I think I'm just going to call it a day uh, on that. And yeah, thanks so, so much, everybody, for coming and hanging out. And thank you to uh, Queen V and QCG Aaron for your Potionomics-specific tips and all of that. I'm going to go and attend to his canine lordship, Oreo the First. He's not the first of his name because there's been a bunch of Oreos that are dogs, but like... He has a little bit of a fragile ego, so, you know, I carry him like a prince down the stairs to protect his paw and all that kind of good stuff. Um, I will see you all later on. Do, 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 do. Where's my ending? Okay, bye. <laughs>